Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Dobbin from Nova Leap Health. How are you today, Chris? Doing great, Tracy. Thanks for having me. And what a good day to have a conversation. We'd like to start by congratulating you on being ranked, what is it, number four for 2019 for startups in Canada? That's right, number four. Okay, so did you know about this, Chris? Uh, we did know it was coming, yeah. We, we, we sort of had advance notice that it was coming out, uh, you know, from the team that put it put it together and uh, again a testament to to our team and what's been accomplished over the last two years at Nova Leap. And of course numbers are your forte Chris and for those of you out there in investor intel land new to Nova Leap Health every time you put out quarterly results they're record results we saw record results again this last quarter can you tell us a little bit more about the highlights? Yeah, it was a great quarter for us. You're right. We have been producing quarter over quarter record results. We had record revenue, record gross margin, record EBITDA. Uh, we've been producing record operating cash flow. So it's been a fantastic uh, last several quarters and it's our eighth consecutive quarter of record revenue growth for us. And perhaps it's your business plan that's helping you or your business model that's helping you propel this company forward so quickly. Would you agree or can you tell us what makes you different from everybody else out there? Well, certainly we identified pretty early on that there was a very fragmented market in the home care space and we've been buying or acquiring very small uh, owner-operated home care companies. That's been the model altogether. And now what you're seeing is very strong organic growth along with continued acquisitions and, and we've been very successful at executing on the acquisitions. Uh, so again, just a testament to the team that we have in place both in Canada and the U.S. It's been a really, really uh, fun run and, and a great run for us over the last two years and we expect continued growth going forward. So speaking of acquisitions, you put out a news release recently about a definitive agreement in, what was it, South Central United States. Can you provide us with an update on this? Yeah, we've completed due diligence so you should expect that we'll have an update to the market very shortly. So Chris, what should we expect? You've had a stellar year. What should we expect in this upcoming quarter? Well, I, I think we've been pretty clear in terms of what our model was. We did indicate w that we do up to four acquisitions this year. We've made one in Nova Scotia in April. We've announced the second one, which you've already alluded to, and you know there are others in our pipeline. And so we do expect the, the remainder of the year to be quite active for us. Well, as always, Chris, thank you for the update. Thanks, Tracy. I really appreciate it.